Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week on my blog, I am featuring a new product. Um, these are the Apple Blossom dies. Stampin' Up! has introduced a wonderful new set of dies called Perfect Partners. Six different sets of dies that coordinate with stamp sets that don't already have dies. And so this week on my blog, I'm featuring the Apple Harvest Bundle. If you already have the stamp set, you can purchase the dies. But if you don't have either, you can now purchase it at a bundle uh, as a bundle and save 10%. Uh, while so, or, uh, limited time only. So make sure that you get these before they are gone. All right, so what did I find to go with our Apple stamps? Well, let me tell you, I found something delicious. I hadn't had these before and I found them at Target. And so of course I had to do a taste test and um, yummo, they are good. Now I probably should have colored my apple green but I really wanted to use red. I love red and saffron, and so that's what we're going with. If you want it to match, then you can color your apple green. Okay, let's make our box first. You are gonna need, let me get my paper and my Simply Scored, a piece of So Saffron that is six and a fourth by seven and a fourth. Now there's a free PDF over on my blog, so you don't have to write all this down. You can print it or save it, and you'll have it forever. All right, so on the long side, we're gonna score it at three fourths, three and a fourth, four and six and a half. Turn it and score it at three fourths and five and a half. All right, now before we do anything else, we are gonna stamp our little apple blossom all over our card using So Saffron ink. And you want them to just kind of be all over the place, turning your paper, turning your stamp so that they look different each time. And done. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, now grab your bone folder and burnish all those lines. Get them nice and crisp. Okay, so here is what your piece looks like. It is symmetrical. It's the same on the top and the bottom and the sides. Um, we're going to just pick one side, it doesn't matter which one, and we're gonna cut off the squares. And when you do, also cut this tab at an angle like that. All right, now we are just going to cut the score lines along the long sides. And I'm gonna just trim off the corners from our little square tabs, okay? So let's repeat that down here and we'll snip and we'll snip. And one more. Let's see, I didn't cut that over enough, so we'll cut that off. There we go, and snip. Okay, so if you wanna pause the video to look at my piece to make yours look like it, that's exactly what it should look like. Now you can use any adhesive that you want. I think I'll use Tombow today. I'm gonna to first put adhesive on that skinny tab on the end and I'm gonna fold this one over like that. And if you have your score lines right, you should be able to just fold it right in half. And then your box pops up like that. Now fold in the sides and I'm gonna make, see where that rough edge is? That's gonna be the back side. So that means I'm gonna fold this one in first and fold the front one in last. That way we have rounded edges on all four sides of our front. All right, so I'm gonna to need to hold that down and let it let it uh, seal for a second, let that glue dry. But let's put our box our bar in like that, and we can fold these in. Again, fold the back in and then the front. Now I'm not gonna seal that one because I don't want the recipient to have to tear apart their box. So I've got this ribbon. <laughs> Mine's had a problem. My roll of ribbon has seen better days. Um, I'm gonna take this and we're just gonna tie a knot. This is a really big and bulky ribbon. So I'm not gonna tie a bow. I'm just gonna do a knot. And that's gonna hold our box closed. 
All right, so grab the ends. And I like to kind of straighten this out like that. And like that. All right, and there is the front of your box. Let's get that ribbon to lay down. Kind of sometimes have to manip manipulate your ribbon to get it to do what you want. Just kind of manhandle it. And there we go. Okay, now let's make our decorations. We're gonna stamp our apple in Memento. And I've decided to use Sweet Sorbet, one of our new Stampin' Up! in colors. All right, now let me pull my chair over. I do a little bit better when I'm sitting down. All right, now I normally tell you guys that I prefer to use my bullet end of my Stampin' Blends markers. However, with a big area like this, I like to use my brush tip. It covers a lot more, a lot faster. Um, I do want to go really careful around the edges. If you feel like you have better control with your bullet tip, then use your bullet tip around the edges and then just use your brush tip to do all the filling in. Our Stampin' Blends are named because the color blends. You're not gonna have streak, streaky marker, mark streaks. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like you colored it with Crayola marker? No, not with this. All right, now I'm gonna take my dark and I'm gonna add color over here underneath that and around kind of where the artist has given us a little bit of a hash mark. And then over here a little bit, whoops, I just got out of the line. See what happens when I'm going too fast. And then a little bit underneath there. Okay, and now I'm gonna go back with my light and just kind of blend all that together like that. Now you can take your color lifter and kind of do that for a shine mark. Now I'm gonna take my Granny Apple Green light and I'm gonna color in these leaves. September is such a fun time to play with your apple stamps back to school, the very beginnings of fall. When I was a teacher, we always did an apple unit where we would measure and weigh and compare and have taste tests of apples in September. So apples always just scream to me, back to school, fall, all the fun stuff before it gets, you know, yucky weather again. All right, I'm just gonna use my soft suede dark for the stem, use whatever you want, whichever brown you want. All right, so there we have it. Let's cut it out with our new dies. While we're here, let's also cut out this adorable little scallop. And I'm gonna cut this out of craft, and I'm gonna make it a sticker before I do that. So I've got my adhesive sheets, hopefully you guys can see that, my adhesive sheets, and I've put it in there, and I'm just gonna cut this off. This, our adhesive sheets come six by 12, and I just keep cutting them and cutting them down until I've used all of them. All right, so take that part off, and now it's a sticker. So we'll cut this out of that. All right, let's bring this over. And we've got no fussy cutting, hooray. We've got a matching die. Let's cut that cute little thing out there, and we'll get this... Um, Apple. This die set comes also with a long and skinny label um, die that is perfect for the longer, the two longer sentiments. For our sentiment, we're using the smaller sentiment. So I've pulled in a label. Look at that. Now that's awesome right there. I You could use that for something else. I hadn't thought about that. Um, you can use the, uh, or the, the label that I'm using. Let's see, you better take your pick tool. The label that I am using is from the succulent dies. 
and I've already cut it out. So let's stamp it. And we'll be ready to put this all together. All right, thanks for your kindness. Right there on the right side. Now I've got a strip of gingham uh, cottage designer series paper. And the last time I used the bigger side, but I think this time I'm gonna use the smaller gingham side. Each color in the pack has a different pattern on each side. So we'll put that down here like this. And then I use that label to cut out a piece of um, Sweet Sorbet Designer Series paper. Ooh, I kind of like the polka dot. Hmm. Yeah, we'll use the polka dot this time. This is from the In Color Designer Series pack. And we'll put that right in the middle. Now we're gonna take our little very narrow very narrow let's see if i can get that adhesive off of it boy my nails look like i've been making projects all day that's because i have all right we're going to put that right there and we don't need all of it so we're just going to cut this part off right about let's get that to stick right about there all right now take your Let's see, where, how do we wanna put this on? We're gonna put this right on the ribbon. Okay, overlapping that a little bit like that. And last but not least, the star of the show. And we've got our apple. And there you have it. Kind of a healthy treat, Nature's Bakery Oatmeal Crumble. Um, these would be a great teacher treat or for, you know, friends, school friends, or even coworkers. All right, you guys, make sure you uh, click the link here, hop over to my blog, grab that free PDF, and check out the other two Apple projects I have for you this week. All right, let me know if you have questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.